the Gospel Reflection of the Day brought to you by Sister Rosalind Mwambani from the Congregation of the Daughters of St. Paul. As the day begins, listen, reflect and live the Word of God, the best food ever for the soul. Welcome, beloved in Christ Jesus, to Thursday of the fifth week in Ordinary Time. It is the eighth day in the month of February 2024. And Jesus today invites us to remember the love that conquers. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark chapter 7, verse 24 to 30. Jesus went to the district of Tyre. He entered a house and wanted no one to know about it. But he could not escape notice. Soon a woman whose daughter had an unclean spirit heard about him. She came and fell at his feet. And the woman was a Greek, a Syrophoenician by birth, and she begged him to drive the demon out of her daughter. He said to her, Let the children be fed first, for it is not right to take the food of the children and throw it to the dogs. She replied and said to him, Lord, even the dogs under the table eat the children's scraps. Then he said to her, For saying this, you may go. The demon has gone out of your daughter. When the woman went home, she found the child lying in bed and the demon gone. The Syrophoenician woman in the Gospel of today, desperate for her healing, defies cultural boundaries and societal expectations. Her persistent faith, even when faced with Jesus' seemingly dismissive analogy, resembles the struggles we all face. Like her, we encounter situations where our needs feel ignored, our pleas unheard. Maybe it's a dream put on hold, a loved one, lost in darkness, or a whispered prayer that seems to disappear in the vastness of the universe. Perhaps it's a single parent struggling to make ends meet, an immigrant facing hostility, or even an artist questioning societal norms. The woman's story is a beacon urging each and every one of us to push past preconceived notions and extend a hand not based on labels, but on shared humanity. This is our project for life, dear viewer. Yet in the crowns of compassion, Jesus offers this foreign woman, we find a powerful reminder. Faith, like a persistent vine, finds nourishment even in the driest of soil. Our tenacity, our unwavering belief becomes the catalyst for change, the spark that ignites the divine light within. This woman's story reminds us that a faith isn't confined to a grand pronouncement or blind obedience. It is in the quiet resilience of a mother's love, the unwavering hope that whispers even when our voices falter. It's in the crumbs of courage we gather, the daily acts of faith and love that illuminate the path ahead. So let us embrace the crumbs of opportunity, dear friend, the whispers of hope, and the quiet strength that resides within us. For in the darkness, it is often these tiny sparks that ignite the greatest miracles. Are you a miracle to your neighbor? Are you a source of solace and consolation to your friend? Do you bring new light to your family, to your colleagues? We pray. Heavenly Father, 
Grant us the tenacity of the Syrophoenician woman with eyes that see beyond labels and the heart that feels beyond borders. Fill us with courage to defy prejudice and extend grace to those on the margins. Let our life be a bridge connecting hearts and illuminating the parts of one another. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Blessed be Jesus Christ. You've been listening to the Gospel Reflection for today as brought to you by Sister Rosalie Mwambani from the Congregation of the Daughters of St. Paul. Remember to listen, reflect and live the Word of God, the best food ever for the soul.